Uh, hi, uh, I am Lokesh, uh, master student at Portland State University. This is a small educational video on uh, cache line uh, mapping. Um, and my area of uh, would be uh, concentrating on the column set associative mapping, which is a different uh, kind of or a different type of uh, cache mapping when compared to uh, direct map caches or uh, uh, set associative uh, caches. So these are the contents that we'll be covering in this uh, particular video. That is the cache analogy. Uh, we'll be looking at the address mapping, different types of cache mapping, column associative um, uh, caches. Uh, this gives a general idea of uh, how co uh, column associative caches are different from you know the rest of the general uh, cache mapping uh, techniques that we have. And have you ever wondered you know what makes a computer system to access an application so fast? Yes, you know. Uh, uh, one of the reasons is because of the uh, cache memory. A cache is a high speed and a small uh, memory which holds a piece of uh, frequently used information uh, from the uh, memory. And uh, here, you know, to get a, a picture of uh, what the cache is, we can analyze that you know a cache is nothing but a hundred pages a notebook which holds a piece of uh, uh, pages uh, frequently accessed uh, pages in this 500 page uh, notebook and uh, uh, which you know accessing the same uh, sim accessing the same uh, pages in this hundred pages notebook would be uh, faster and more quicker and more easier than uh, referencing you know, a chapter or a or a set of uh, pages in this 5,000 pages uh, notebook, and this is a uh, uh, you know a uh, cache for this is what. And uh, coming to uh, the address uh, mapping, here the uh, CPU sends a request asking to either write the data or you know requesting for the data uh, to the cache. So here the cache is organized uh, uh, into uh, cache blocks. That is, it can have. Uh, a number of you know cache blocks depending on the size of the caches and uh, the caches uh, has uh, and the cache each cache block can you know have different uh, uh, it can have different size of uh, data such as uh, uh, one byte two byte and four byte and the corresponding uh, cache block has a tag which uh, helps us to identify uh, the uh, correct data that needs to be uh, uh, read from the cache block or written to the uh, cache block and uh, the uh, address uh, is uh, which is a 16 bit or a 20 bit here can be is divided into three segments that is byte select index and attack so I'll be like uh, so I'll be like uh, you know uh, emphasizing this more on the next slide and uh, coming to the first uh, map cache that is called as a direct map cache here again the uh, you know the address is uh, divided into three segments the byte select which is used to select the uh, particular byte in that particular uh, cache block and uh, then you know you use the cache uh, index to uh, select the particular uh, cache block uh, or, refer or references to the particular cache line uh, in the cache and this is you know a uh, lower order bit and the higher order bit uh, tag is uh, used it's a it's actually you know uniquely identifies if the right data is being read or written into the cache or you know read from the uh, cache and valid bit here is signifies that you know the uh, data is present inside the cache so here it is called as a direct map cache uh, because uh, here uh, using the index we are uh, directly referencing to the one of the cache lines in the cache and uh, these direct map caches are simple and Okay, uh, coming to the uh, next type of cache mapping here, cache line mapping here, you know, is called as a set associative cache. Here we are just like, you know, I uh, want to present only the two-way set associative caches. And in order to understand this particular uh, cache, uh, here the uh, cache blocks are divided into a number of uh, sets. So here, uh, here in a two-way uh, set associative cache, each set is uh, each set uh, consists of uh, two cache blocks. And uh, here again, the address is uh, divided into segments. That is offset, which is used to uh, select the particular byte in the cache block, and index, which actually uh, 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 references or you know two points uh, to the particular set uh, rather than the cache block uh, and then you know we and then the tag is used to fetch the right to data out of uh, these two uh, cache blocks which is uh, uh, within the uh, set and uh, here this is an example of a four-way set of associative caches where uh, each set consists of uh, four uh, cache lines or cache uh, blocks and uh, likewise like you know you can have two ways four ways and eight ways uh, in set associative caches and moving further these are the common terminologies that we are be uh, using in caches that is a hit uh, that is the requested item uh, when the requested item is present inside this cache it's a hit when the requested item uh, by f from the user is not present uh, 
in this cache then it's going to be a miss and then hit time is the time uh, uh, to deliver when the item is present in the inside the cache and uh, pen, a miss penalty is the time uh, that is to deliver the item when the item is not present uh, inside this cache that is it has to retrieve the data from the main memory and then send it to the uh, user uh, who's requesting it and moving uh, further you know our main uh, topic to it in this video is a uh, column associative caches as we have seen you know before that uh, direct map caches the main advantages of the direct map caches is a fast hit time as you know the uh, uh, index or you know the address is directly mapped to one of the cache blocks in the caches it has a fast hit time and the disadvantages of direct map caches is that it has a large number of uh, conflict misses so I would be dealing with the conflict misses in the uh, next uh, slide and uh, what about the set associative caches you know it definitely can improve the miss rate but it has a uh, hit it has a worst uh, hit time uh, because uh, I know uh, when here the index is you know mapped to the set where you know a set consists of two or four uh, blocks uh, which takes a little bit of time you know to uh, find the right uh, data and you know uh, uh, give it to the uh, give it to the processor and there was there is an alternative technique uh, which 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 was uh, proposed by Agarwal and Puder in 1993 called as a column associative cache the column associative cache mainly uh, aims at uh, um, improving the hit time of the direct map caches, uh, but also uh, lower the miss, miss rate of uh, said associative uh, caches. So uh, here uh, I just want to present to you about what this cache uh, miss is about, you know, or interference miss is suppose when you have two addresses with uh, uh, two different indexes, you know, each of these address maps, okay, to the uh, same uh, index or the cache block in a cache and uh, so so the direct uh, map caches you know won't be able to handle this interference misses but what about the two-way associative uh, caches uh, so in a two-way associative uh, caches so since uh, each set has a uh, uh, two cache blocks you know one of the addresses resides in one of the location and another uh, cache resides in another location in the same uh, set and uh, and how does you know a column uh, let's see how does a column associative uh, deal or resolve this interference um, in the next slide so column associative it dynamically uh, maps a different location within the cache so this algorithm is followed when only the uh, when uh, two addresses have the same index so here we see that an address a has you know an address to have the same index as we saw earlier and it maps okay to this uh, particular uh, cash block and uh, here what it does is that you know uh, the higher uh, higher order bit of this particular uh, index in this address is uh, flipped or you know it is inverted to one so that you know zero one zero becomes one one zero and it is uh, mapped to this particular uh, cache block and this uh, a bit flipping is done using a hash or a rehash uh, function and uh, I won't be dealing or you know talking much about the hash or rehash uh, functions as you know it's another different uh, topic uh, so just wanted to present this you know how this bit uh, flipping is done uh, in case of uh, column associative caches and uh, as I told you earlier the column associative caches also uh, maintains the uh, uh, fast hit time of, of uh, direct uh, map caches and also lowers the miss rate of uh, two-way set associative caches so this is how a column associative cache behaves when it access the uh, data here the check way one is nothing but uh, uh, the uh, that is like you know the uh, address which is indexed into this uh, particular uh, cache block and if there is a hit uh, then you know uh, it is going to retrieve the, the data that is present in the a1 is uh, sent out or given into the processor in case you know if it is a mess then you know uh, we have a way one as i told you a way one is provided by applying a hash function to this higher order bit uh, in this particular index which uh, 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 changes or flips to one and uh, indirectly and then it maps to uh, the another uh, cache block in uh, within the cache and uh, and if the if the data is present in this cache, then it results in a slow hit. And if the data is present over here, then the data is swapped between A1 and A2. Since uh, in case of this 
uh, cache block is accessed again it would result in a fast hit and in case if the data is not present here the data is evicted and then the data is uh, fetched or retrieved from the main memory and then the data is resided and then it is mapped uh, uh, between the a1 that is like you know the data in the a2 is then uh, sent to the a1 or it is swapped to a1 and if data in the a1 is swapped to a2 uh, this again you know is done because uh, uh, if this uh, cache block is uh, referenced again, you know, it would result in a fast hit. And uh, yes, this is about uh, the caches. And other thing is that because the hits are uh, much more frequent than the misses, the extra cycles required to implement the co column associative on a miss can be easily balanced by a small improvement in a hit access time on every bit, which results in a smaller average memory access time when compared to two-way set associative uh, cache. And uh, these are the uh, references that i was able to uh, find if you want to learn more about uh, the column associative caches and about the hashtags you can just uh, uh, look into this uh, 